the next class that we're going to talk about in the World of Warcraft is the Death Knight. Now, the Death Knight is capable of being any race in the game except for the Pandaren, which totally makes sense from a lore point of view. The Pandaren were not... Not in the Eastern Kingdoms or in Kalimdor at the time of the Scourge or in the time of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion even. The, not even in Cataclysm were they around. It wasn't until Mist of Pandaria, once the Mist parted basically, that we were able to get Pandaren, so it totally makes sense. Now they are available to every race and that includes the Worgen and Goblin, bringing some speculation with players of how that's possible from a lore point of view considering that the goblins were on Kazan at the time until Cataclysm, so they weren't there for the Wrath of the Lich King, and uh, Worgen are supposed to be impervious to being changed into the undead, as is seen in the Worgen starting zone and the uh, Silver Pine Forest undead questline, that the Worgen can't be changed into undead. They can't be risen by the Valkyr and by uh, Sylvanas herself. Well... There are some lore reasons why Worgen and Goblins can be those. Now, those are not the same Worgens and Goblins that you know in the Cataclysm starting zones. Yes, the Goblin is from Kazan, but the Goblin is not, does not leave with Prince Gallywix in much the same way as the other Goblins, nor, does the, nor is the Worgen even technically, really, Gilnean, in fact. Because, let's start with the Goblins. So the basic goblin uh, lore, how goblin, how you start as a goblin death knight, is that you were on Kazan and you had a friend with you. You actually slaughter this friend in the death knight starting zone, and basically this friend had a bad cola trip type of thing, and you two left Kazan to go get help or whatever you went to go do, and you ended up joining the Steamwheel Cartel and left the Blige the Bilgewater Cartel, which is where Get Prince Gallywix and the goblins we know in the Horde today are from, you join the Steamwheel Cartel. Somewhere along the line, you were killed, and the Lich King himself raised you into the Death Knight that you are today. Your friend, somehow along the way, ended up joining the Argent Dawn, because they knew that's what you would have done. And... There you go. That's how you have Goblin Death Knights. Now, the Worgen is a little bit more convoluted. Now, the Worgen that you are, are you are actually a test subject of the originator of the Worgen curse in a general way, and that is Arugal. Arugal took over Shadowfang Keep. He left Dalaran and ended up going to Shadowfang Keep, where he used the Book of Ur, U R, Ur, to summon all of the Worgen to him. It was at this point that he started making. Uh, experiments on them to try to control them in a better way. Somehow, along the way, these were feral wargans. You and a friend of yours ended up losing your feralness enough that you knew that Aroga was bad, so you escaped from him. While wandering Silver Pine Forest, it's to be assumed, somewhere along the lines, you were killed and raised by Lich the Lich King himself, Arthas Minethil. He actually raised you himself. Which means his magic raised you, which is different than the Valkyr raising people from the dead, and different from uh, the plague that was used in Lordaeron to convert all of the human into the Scourge. It's a completely different form of magic, apparently. Arthas is much stronger, he is able to beat through the course of curse of the Worgen, and yes. Yes, there's some lore holes in there, but that's fine. Now, since every race in the game can be Death Knight, there is no lore reason why one race should be more so than any other. However, what I will say is that Orcs were some of the first Death Knights ever created. Now, these weren't the uh, Death Knights we know today. These were different uh, Death Knights. These were the spell-casting, horse-riding Death Knights like Terran Gorefiend and others that we know. And, of course, there is the Human Death Knights, which are basically... Some of them have been paladins and fought bravely in the light, and were raised by and corrupted by Arthas. That is just uh, a little bit behind them. So if you want like a very lore heavy, human or, or orc might actually be the best for you. The Death Knights as described on the class game guide on the website is as follows. When the Lich King's control of his Death Knights was broken, his former champions sought revenge for the horrors committed under his command. After their vengeance was won, the Death Knights found themselves without a cause and without a home. One by one, they trickled into the land of the living in search of a new purpose. 
frost sharpens their strikes. Blood fortifies their bodies, and on death allows them to erupt in unholy rage in the heat of battle. A thousand atrocities are etched in the eyes of every death knight, and foes who gaze into them too long will feel the warmth pulled from their bodies, replaced with cold steel.